Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 you read the title I, I just said well I wouldn't go as far as to say it's a rant this is so the worst game to you know voice my opinion on over the top it's Battlefield 3 because multitasking is not my strong point but I just can't be asked to show my face because I'm tired and I've got eczema anyway my point is this you saw the title which is I'm, I'm fed up of people complaining about the ice a bucket challenge obviously you know what it is everyone's done it or you know the celebs have done it and the stars have done it and stuff like that well, they're the same thing i've done it i my mates have done it you know i've tagged some mates to do it and and people said oh it's filling up my facebook feed i don't like it it's people jumping on a bandwagon and trying to be popular and i'm like We'll ignore the fact that it's just something that's a bit of fun, you know, shits and giggles that makes people laugh, whether they donate to charity or not. But I'm just fed up with this, oh, it's just a gimmick, you do it for views. No one watches me. I didn't do it for views. All right, you know, I, I changed my choice of charity, which, you know, apparently rubs some people up the wrong way. But the purpose that I did it was I chose a charity that I cared about and maybe it is a gimmick I don't know but the bottom line is right I don't know if you notice as people but charity does begin at home because your government doesn't give a shit about you if it did then why do we have help for the heroes so when our dirty little politicians send people to war where am I going oh there we go send people to war why is it up to charity to support them when they come home you know what the the company night the company the quango nice who decide what drugs you can have free on the nhs every single one of those fat cat wankers is on 180 grand a year why do they get to determine or dictate what drugs we can have on the nhs because it's not in the best interest get up oh, oh i'm dragging you back sorry the taxpayer it's just i don't know the bottom line i'm trying to make oh shit am i getting shot the fuck yeah is we shouldn't have to go this route to raise awareness and money for illnesses, you know, that affect a lot of people, inflict a lot of pain upon people and suffering. Unfortunately, we have to. I really picked a bad game, didn't I? What's Reload? This is my favourite Battlefield game, by the way. People piss and moan about its campaign, but I love it. But yeah, people, you know, we shouldn't have to do this route. In an ideal world, you know, governments would throw money at everything, but they don't. But the biggest complaint I hear is, oh, it's about celebrities showing off. We don't know that they donate. You didn't know that they didn't donate? Oh, you don't know that I donated? I did, but my point is, people don't necessarily vocalise stuff like that. And we won't even get to the next point just yet. It's Bono said something. <clears throat> I love Bono. I know he's not everyone's cup of tea. He said something a long time ago because he's a great advocate of charities and he gets so much flack for that himself, which is, if you're famous, you can never really truly name, oh, shit. The, the charity you donate to because it will never be good enough for everyone. You will always suffer a negative impact in believing or supporting something because everyone will always have a beef with something that they don't agree with, which seems to be happening with the Ice Bucket Challenge and lots of cynical, not everyone, lots of cynical people will seem to be overlooking the fact that, as I said, it raised, what, $8 million in one day for motor neuron disease? That's a good thing. Whether you think it's a flash in the pan or a gimmick or not, who bloody cares? It raised eight million dollars they would not have had before that. Attack what? I don't know. I'm scared. And I, I don't know. I, I, some people are just so cynical. I just I just think I could buy you nothing for Christmas. You wouldn't like it, would you? But yeah, it raised eight million dollars. That's that's a wonderful thing. Do you know what I mean? The bottom. Oh, I just shot for your head. The the bottom line is this, right? We should not, as I said, have to rely on charity. Unfortunately, we do. And then, then people say, look at the stars and the celebrities, and like, oh, it's a gimmick, it's a cash and we don't know that they're donating. As I said, you don't know that they're not donating, but the bottom line is, even if they weren't, and I'm not saying they aren't, they've made this go through the roof. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I just, I don't know, in like the, ooh, it's clogging up my Facebook feed. Seriously? Do you know what? Piss off you whining little moaning troll because the bottom line is this if someone gets a shit ton of money oh bollocks i'm gonna die aren't i 
Oh, I'm out of the area. No, wrong area. Bollocks. If someone gets a shitload of money, right, that they wouldn't have got because of this, then isn't that a good thing? Isn't the fact that it's going to help a bunch of people more beneficial than it wasn't out there in the first place? I don't think it's cheesy. I think it's fun. I think it's shits and giggles. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing because it trickles down. It spreads like a disease in itself and, you know, virally on the internet. And how could you? I don't understand why people would have a problem with this. Are you bad guys? No, you're my guys. Sorry. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I really don't, and I'm not the only person to think this, but I really don't understand the naysayers towards the ice bucket challenge. You know, gimmick or not, whether you want to call me a cheap whore for doing it, then go ahead and do slice. That's your, you know, your choice. But if any one of our videos, even for a charity that is not, you know, from motor neuron disease, you know, if any one of them gives them a fiver that they didn't have before, that they would not have got in the first place, then isn't that a worthwhile cause? I'm sorry, this was a really silly rant, but I stand by it, which is, I see nothing wrong with it, you know? And I've enjoyed all the celebs doing it, personally. I've looked for my favourite celebs doing it, and uh, you know what? My mum's going to hate me for saying this. I really enjoyed the David Beckham one, but yeah, bottom line is... They got something they would never have had before, and isn't that ultimately at the end of the day a good thing? Anyway, I would love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Nade! Nope, that's Nade. That's Nade. I don't know why I felt the need to Nade. Is it going to kill him? No, it's my bloke. I'm shit at this. Anyway, you, you, you get the point.